Hey everybody, it's your boy Mitch Catlin. Um, today I'm going to do a how-to video. I'm going to show you how to restore your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, um, iMac or whatever back to factory settings, back to the original uh, factory settings. We're going to restore it. Um, so uh, it's two reasons why you want to do this. Let's say you want to sell it uh, to someone and you just want to erase everything off the computer uh, another reason if you catch a virus so I'm gonna show you let's get started now so um, the first thing you want to do is uh, pretty much restart well not restart shut down your computer boom okay let's shut it down make sure the keys go off make sure it's plugged up okay and what you want to do is you want to press command R and power at the same time all at the same time and once the Apple appear you can let go of the power button I'm pressing command and R and power that's the Apple premiere I let go so next what you want to do is you want to hit up this disk uh, utility so just take the stroller click on it press continue don't mind that that's my phone and what you want to go to is right here where it says Macintosh D HD you click that then you click erase which should be the third one it say first age partition erase you click erase and you want to make sure it says uh, Mac OS extended journal do not change it I know a lot of people have curiosities and they're curious and they like to change stuff don't you don't want to see that happen so just click erase right here and you're good to go alright we're done so now you just want to close this window boom we're back here now we're just gonna reinstall it press continue Um, I have Mac OS uh, Sierra. Um, you might have uh, Mountain Lion or uh, what's the other ones? Uh, I, f I forgot. I don't have that. Well, anyway, what's cool about uh, Mac Sierra, you can press uh, uh, Command, Shift, and T if all your windows, all your tabs close by accident and you can pull it back up. Or you can also uh, you also can press like command and uh, spacebar to get like series or something. So it's like I'll, I'll probably show you guys once it's so. So you press continue, boom, and here we go. I'll agree. It's you know it's pretty simple. So you want to click this hard drive, or this Macintosh HD, and it's going to have install at the bottom. See, right there. Boom. And this should take maybe 10 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. It's a six minutes. And finally, it's about 13 seconds remaining. So the computer is uh, rebooting, restarting. Uh, this should take another several minutes. So I'm going to go to the next step for you guys. Okay, so uh, should uh, so after the password is transferred, you just press continue, continue. Uh, 
don't want to use this you can do the Apple ID later so I don't sign in skip agree boom so then we're gonna go to create a computer account I already have my information in press continue and that Okay, time zone. I'm on a Pacific Standard Time. I'm in LA. Just all you got to do is just continue all the way through. Uh, they have Siri on here, and like I told you, if you use Command and Spacebar, Siri uh, pop up. So okay, setting up your Mac. So if you were gonna sell it to someone, that's how you can do it. And like I told you, you can use Siri with command and spacebar. Hi, Siri. Hi there, Mitchell Kidling. Yeah, you, you pronounced it wrong, but it's whatever. See, it's pretty cool. And if you like open your tabs and you lose your tabs, you can press a command, shift, and T. And you can get all your tabs a return. So uh, let me get on screen right quick to do my uh, finalized statement. All right. Well, that's going to do it for uh, the how to uh, reinstall and uh, restore your uh, Apple Mac Air or your Apple uh, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro uh, back to factory settings. I'm Mitchell Kellen, and I will present more how to videos coming soon. I'm I'm a pretty good expert in Final Cut 7 and X and Adobe Premiere and all all that cool uh software stuff. So, I'm going to hook y'all up. Peace out.